Hello, everybody. <laughs> Some people are saying first, but you're not first. You, someone is always there before you. Is that kind? Is that is the, is the microphone? How's the mic? Is the, I want to make sure my sound is good first of all. No echo. Everything good. Hey. Good. Okay. Great. Excellent. The angle of my video may be different. I, I, my old chair wore out. Now I found this other chair in the basement. I had a spare chair like I always do. I have spares of everything. But now it's a little bit higher and I can't lower it. I feel like I'm in a baby high chair or something. I go through chairs probably every two years. I just wear them out. So. <clears throat> How is everybody today? So I have two rigs running. And I think I'm going to be finishing up the spider nebula tonight. Now, there's, you can barely, this is a four minute exposure in HA. And if you look at my stars, I don't really have diffraction spikes, but I'm passing through a power line, and that's why it looks like that. <laughs> so, I probably, I didn't set up my mount in a good spot. I didn't even think about that I was right under a power line. I, I should have known ahead of time, but you can't see it here, but there's definitely a power line above. Silly me. Hopefully I'll get past it. Oh, there's the power line. This is this might be what I'm passing through right now. Yeah. And I'm and on this one I'm I might finishing up might finish up another project with the uh Bodes Galaxy and the Cigar Galaxy tonight. I already have uh, uh how much do I have? Hmm. I I have at least 4 hours of data. If I can get a couple more hours, I may just try and process it. Oh, good day. You enjoyed it with your sons. Excellent. What type of telescope do Rick... Oh, I have a video for beginners. Uh, geez, I wish I could uh, find the link for you. Let me, let me go to my channel and find you a link. Uh, I got a video on that. <laughs> I'll post a link for you. I don't know if that'll help you, but for beginners, let's see. Uh... Oh, look at that. It says live stream going on. I never come to my channel during a live stream. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> Best telescope for a beginner. Right here. Let me, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to paste the link here. Share, copy. Give me a second here. All right. <laughs> And did you guys see my latest? This is the one of the first projects I finished all year. The weather has been so cold and so cloudy. I've been avoiding imaging, but I finally, it felt good to finally finish something. And I'm glad the first thing I captured was the horse head and the flame. And I tried as best I could to get it as true color as possible. So what do you guys think of that? That's the, my latest one. I submitted it for a NASA APOD, but... I know I don't really have a chance because I I see a lot of other people do a really amazing things and it's hard in my light polluted area, but I do the best I can. Thanks. And I like these blue stars. I like big, I always like big blue stars. Some people shrink the stars right out of the picture. Nah, I like big I like big stars. I don't have a problem with them. Yeah, this one does have a halo. But you know what? I tried the best I could to get rid of the hard edges. <laughs> I hate halos. 
Thanks. And here's what my guiding looks like. Uh, oh, geez. What's going on? I've been having some issues with... Uh, it. Okay. Every time I dither lately, it takes a long time to correct. Come on. But even in my guide scope, I can see the two galaxies. There's Bode's galaxy, and there's M81 right there. And there's M81 in my main imaging, and there's the Cigar Galaxy. Um, I might have said that wrong. I said, uh, this is the Cigar Galaxy, and that's M81, Bode's galaxy. Yep. So these are actually, this one is a 15 second exposure. And what I've done, uh, like um, I've already captured, let's see, uh, let me go to my drive here. Sometimes the numbers reset, uh, rats. Uh, let's see, so. I've already captured 1,217 on one night and 39 from another night. So let me pull out my calculator. Let's see. 12, wait, 1217 plus, what did I say? 49, whatever, I'm close enough. And then you, you divide it by 15 seconds each. So divide it by four, divide by four. And that's how many minutes I have. Divide by... 60. So right now I have 5.2 hours of data on this target. So whatever I finish up with tonight, I think I'm just going to try and process it and see how it comes out. And I already have over 20 hours of data on the spider nebula. I'm still going through that dang power line. And I'm going to have over 20 hours. So it's it's going to be fun. I'll have two projects complete, and I think I have clouds coming on, so I'll have stuff to do while the clouds come. Athens, Greece. Wow. Isn't that where the Olympics originated? You made it. Yes. <laughs> Easy objects to get. Oh, anybody have an opinion? Orion Nebula, I don't actually think Andromeda is as easy as it looks. It has a very bright core, but very faint spiral arms. Hey, Trev. Oh, 122 in the UK. Hello, Maine. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. So I've got. I'm going after the spider nebula. I'm gonna. I'm gonna write that down for people so they know which scope is doing what. Hang on here. Uh, let's see. Spider nebula and two galaxies. All right. Let's see if that shows up good. a little bit. <laughs> I'm fussy. Hello. Is Andromeda, is the Andromeda galaxy even coming back right now? Let 
Let's see where it is. Hang on here. M31. Oh no, Andromeda's gone for the year. Not even close. You can see how it's setting in the... Yeah, that one's gone. <laughs> it won't be back for, for a long time. Let's see. When when is Andromeda coming back here at a reasonable hour? <laughs> yeah, the second half of the year. Did you guys see this planetary alignment? I just did a shorts on it. Check this out. Um, let me go back to that. And let's go to the morning. Let's back up. Wait. Did you see that? I don't think I've ever seen the planets that lined up before. And this is as of this morning. We've got the sun. Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn, Venus, and Mars. When is it ever going to be like that again? Because look at if we go to different years, now they're on either side of the sun. The, there's just nothing like that. How many years do we got to go to ever see that again? So what's going on right now is definitely unique. I mean, geez, I'm in the year 2049 and we still don't see it like that. Isn't that crazy? The Age of Aquarius. Yeah, they'll be lined up for mostly this month at least. And if you're wondering what these galaxies actually look like, I've actually, I've captured them before. Let's see. There's M81. This is what I captured a, probably a year ago. But I think I can do it better this time. I want to try something different. And just process it a little different. And uh, so those, and then that's what these galaxies look like. The, the, see the, the thin one here? That's what we're looking at right there. And this is Bode's galaxy right there. But we, we're only doing 15 second exposures. Evening. Hello there. Good evening. Isn't that what Robert Plant always says in concert with Led Zeppelin? Good evening. Good evening. Sorry if I'm breathing heavy. The mic picks up everything. Zeppelin rocks. <laughs> What's this? $20 donation? From the Hunterland. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I've been buying a lot of equipment lately. Did you guys see my latest stream? I mean, not my latest stream, but my latest video. I, I just bought a... Uh, see, we got my, my chat revenue, $20. <laughs> I just bought the, the cat. Uh, Red Cat 51. But I, I it's going to take a lot to, to get it all set up. And then I just ordered a, a guide scope, uh, a guide camera... I'm going to be order building it piece by piece. Let me, let me, you know what? Let me go get it in case you guys haven't seen it. I want to, it's just fun. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
seems like a long trip to the basement. <laughs> but here is my latest new telescope. This is the Red Cat. What do you guys think of that? It's the tiniest telescope I'll ever be imaging with, but it'll give me a wide field. And it was kind of an interesting experiment, by the way, because I made the video and telescopes.net had about, at the time, I think six or seven of them in stock. And after my video, they sold out. <laughs> That's kind of funny when you, that you can actually have a little bit of influence on that. That's the red cat. And I didn't even, I didn't even show people that I'm using it yet. I just told people I bought one. But when they hear that, holy crap, there's a telescope available, they jump on it because right now telescopes are hard to find. So when you find a place that has something, get it. <laughs> and let me show you what just arrived yesterday. This little um, guide scope I'll be using with it. I haven't taken it out of the box yet. But this is the ZWO, what is it? I think a 30mm guide scope. Oops, something just fell out. So that's that. I don't know if you can see it the way I'm holding it up. Put it under my chin. <laughs> I'll just show you the box. So that was that. That just fell out. Oh, a couple of screws. But I got a long way to go. I still gotta buy a heater. I gotta buy a heater, a, a dew heater strip. I need to buy an electronic focuser, a mounting. I still gotta get a mount. It's gonna be piece by piece. So I'll be ready for next nebula season with it. <laughs> Oh, you're happy? I'm happy you caught my live stream, too. You see a little glow? <laughs> Can you point the telescope at Orion where Betelgeuse is? I could. Do you want me to do that, everybody? Does everybody want to see Orion? I can take a break from what I'm imaging if you want to see Orion. Oh, I don't know if I can. My scope is a... Hmm, 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 hmm. Let me see. Let me see something. Let me see real quick. Where is my scope pointing right now? It's pointing here. Do I still have Orion in view? No. <laughs> no. Some people are saying no. I'd rather be able to finish my galaxies because I think... Tonight, I really, I think I got a chance at finishing them. I'd, I'd hate to take a break. It's probably too low. Let's see. Let's just see where it is. Uh, it's, it's over here somewhere. I'm sure it's getting close to the garage, but. Yeah, just finish. <laughs> yeah, what a setup. Thanks. Let's see where MM42 is. Yeah, there's probably a little bit of... Finish my work. Oh, a lot of you are very considerate. No, do you guys want me to stay on my targets? I appreciate that. Because <laughs> I really think I can, uh, I can finish these up today. And uh, the only thing that bugged me right now is let's see the, the weather. I, it was supposed to be clear for a few hours, but I, I, I kept seeing clouds coming towards me. See this, I'm right here. It looks like they're, they're breaking up before they reach me though. You see that? They are definitely kind of breaking up. There might be a little bit of haze out there. 
what's worse right now is that the moon is out at over 80 percent anything over 80 percent is difficult for for broadband narrowband is okay but here here's the deal though you see my mean readout for um 924 normally that would be in the 600 range and the sky is very clear right now and the thing that's bringing it up has to be the moon. There's no other way because look how close the spider nebula. So definitely the light pollution from the moon. Look, they're just very close. There's what I'm capturing, the spider nebula, and there's the moon. So, but that's why I'm, I'll, 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 you know, I'll inspect the data when I'm all done and see if I can still keep that. And I'm still going to the dang power line. It's starting to piss me off. See these? It, it's kind of elongating my stars. The big stars, look at the, the, the power line stretches them out. Right there. Look at that. You can see the, the power line, the, the elongation is going exactly in the direction of the power line. Do you see that? I hate that. <laughs> You know, I'll have a different live stream where we just bounce around all over the sky. But right now, I need to stay on target with both of my scopes. Because um, I want to finish up two projects today. Because I don't know when I'm going to have more clear skies to finish these up. And the moon is coming back, which makes it even harder. But we'll do another stream where we just bounce around and check out all, a bunch of uh, other stuff. How many subs do the power lines destroy? Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to keep the data. <laughs> I don't know. If there's not that many of them, these are four-minute exposures each, but you, this is probably the power line. I have a power line right here, and then I have a cable line going that way, but I can't see the cable line. I, it, it's my fault. I moved my telescope. Since I set it up in the worst possible position. I didn't even look above. Uh, that was just a dumb mistake. And usually I'm more careful. And these are the two galaxies I'm capturing. If I can get up to at least seven or eight hours on these, I think I'm going to go for it and process them. I think it's going to be fun. And if you guys haven't seen it, here is my... One of the first projects I, I I've done some solar stuff, but this is the first deep space thing I, project I finished all year. What do you think of that one? Some of you have already seen it. Yeah, we make mistakes. Yeah, this is one of I've captured the horse head so many times, but I think this is finally my favorite one. I finally got something very close to true color. And um. I even made it my screen background. <laughs> I love it. Now, if you were a member of my channel, I would give you the high-res image. Just a little sales pitch. <laughs> but don't worry about it. That reminds me, I was supposed to do something for the members today. I was going to give them the data on this target so they could play around with processing. I'll, I'll do it after the stream. I t my with the membership channel I have, I kind of just tell people every Sunday I'm going to upload a new picture and data if you want to try practicing stuff yourself. But I, I forgot all day long. What the heck was I doing all day? Oh, you know what? I, I was doing plumbing. I actually feel good that I can do a little bit of plumbing work and fix some leaks. And there was a leak from the coming down from the ceiling in the basement. I had to, I had to fix some stuff. But the leak coming down from the ceiling was my fault because I screwed another thing up. <laughs> so I fixed my own mistake. So anyway, but I fixed it and re everything. See, jack of all trades, master of none. I know I sound stuffed up again. I, this, when the warmer weather comes, I think I'll start feeling better. 
Don't forget to like the stream, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, well, let's go back to the... Uh... And if you're just joining, I have both of my main deep sky rigs out. This is my Explorer Scientific, and this is my Rasa telescope here. And that's a very bright star. What is that? What the heck is that? Let's, uh, let's look to the south. Sirius. That has to be Sirius. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sirius. Right there. Yeah, that's got to be Sirius. My chair is squeaking. I'm in a sitting in a new, an old chair. I, my other chair wore out. Yeah, that's a tough one. Explorer Scientific or Rasa. And uh, I can't really pick between them. They both serve their own purpose. And they were both gifts. <laughs> so I'm not going to dare pick between them. Astro Corone. Oh, look at that. Astro Corone has a, a wrench next to him. He's the new sheriff in town. I didn't know there would be a wrench. I, I asked Astro Corone to help be a moderator, and now they put a wrench. So don't make Astro Corone angry. <laughs> He's the new sheriff in town. <laughs> don't make <laughs> don't make Caleb angry or you're out <laughs> and Astro Crone has a little icon next to him name his name he's a member too how many people we got? 169 people watching. Cool. Thanks for joining, everybody. I'm not moving the scopes around. I'm capturing two two galaxies, 15-second exposures with the Rasa, and I'm capturing the Spider Nebula with my other telescope, the Explorer Scientific. And I'm trying to finish up. I'm going to have over 20 hours of data on this target and probably seven or eight hours of data when I'm done on that target. And I'll be, be able to process them this week. Hooray! The chair is irritating. I know. It's driving me crazy, too. You want me to get a different chair? This chair is not good for live streams. See, listen to that. I'm going to get a different chair. just brought in a kitchen chair. Much better? <laughs> I'm so used to the squeaking, I ignore it. It doesn't, I, I, I didn't know that it would be very irritating for other people. You know how you just start to tune things out?
Oh, thank you. Hunterlin became a member. I appreciate that. Much appreciated. Now it's going to drive me crazy if I ever go back and watch this stream and listen to the squeaking. Because I hate it when I don't notice something, but you guys are irritated. That bothers me. Okay, I'll see ya. Enzo. You know, I should just buy a new chair from Amazon. Or somewhere. Uh, that chair is not very comfortable. I, want, I need a recliner. Oh, you got a new refractor. Excellent. Oh, I, yeah, I still use, uh, I still use SGP. I'm kind of uh, afraid of Nina. I fear change. You know, I used to be uh, an early adopter of stuff, whether it was software equipment. Now I'm, I'm so set in my ways, it scares me to try new things. <laughs> hey, truck and stacker, I appreciate the $4.99. Thank you very much. And uh, you got my total up to $24.99. Thank you. But let me show you how you can become a member. You just go to my YouTube channel, Chuck's Astrophotography. And, uh, well, I can't do it because, <laughs> let's see if I can, let me switch my account. Oh, yeah, here, there's a join button right here. And that's how you become a member. I appreciate that. I charge uh, four ninety nine a month, but for four ninety nine you get my full res deep space pictures. Um, uh, I, I upload one every uh, every week, and you get the stack data if you want to try your hand in processing and priority reply to comments. Not that my com replies will do you much good, but everyone seems to say that. <laughs> and here's what the satellite's looking right now. Here's me. Detroit is right there. And it's, it's only going to be clear the first half of the night, and then it's going to be cloudy the second half. That's why I want to make sure I finish. Like I say, I'm trying to finish two projects tonight. How's it going, Astro Caron? Have you had to shoot anyone down yet? <laughs> oh, Astro Caron is showing off some of his uh, emojis that you get for being a member. <laughs> Oh, and the Hunterland is showing off one of the moon emojis. <laughs> you can see that. Look at that. It's driving me up a wall. Sebastian Hoodie. I'm sorry if I... Sebastian Hode. I, I'm sorry if I uh, got that wrong. But thanks for joining. I appreciate that. Sebastian. I got a new member. Hooray. And if you're wondering, after this stream, I will be uploading my high-res version of the uh, horse head um, today. 
I just forgot to do it late, earlier in the day. Every Sunday is when I usually upload stuff. And this is what you can do with it. Make it a background picture like I just did. <laughs> hey, you love my content. I appreciate that. You want to see what an impulse buyer I am? I bought this on Amazon the other day. All in one beard trimmer. And I don't have a beard. Of course, I didn't even open it yet. And these are the two scopes I am buying. I mean, I mean that's the, what the weather looks like. These are the two scopes I am running, not buying. They're already bought. The hunterlin is having fun with the the emojis. <laughs> what am I capturing? I am capturing the spider nebula, and uh, it's hard to see what the spider nebula looks like, but let me show you what it, I've captured it with a smaller scope before. Let me show you what it looks like. I have it on Astrobin. If I can find it. Right here. That's what the spider is going to look like. But hopefully with the bigger scope, I will pick up a lot more detail. This one right down there. That's what I captured about a year or so ago. It's capital I. <laughs> Vice group something up there. David. Thank you very much. Wow, I picked up some new members. I got three new members this, during the stream. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And if um, and for the people just joining, I usually upload a new picture, deep space picture, every usually every Sunday. And this is going to be the one I do today after the stream. So you can expect that one. So be on the lookout. And hopefully uh, I'm going to finish up two projects today. And let me see, what is the forecast? It just wasn't looking good. That's why I want to finish them up today. Let me see. Monday, clouds, Tuesday, rain, Wednesday, partly cloudy, Thursday, clouds, Friday, rain, Saturday. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I appreciate that. And normally, the lower the main readout, the better for my HA, but right now it's about 300 higher than what it normally is because the moon, I've got a lot of light pollution going on right now. The moon is really hurting me right now <laughs> because here's where my spider nebula is in the sky. There's south. This is south. There's my spider nebula and here's the moon over 82.1% illuminated. So it's, it's getting, it'll be full in a couple days, but it's it's really bright right now. So it's not easy imaging during that.
Thanks for joining, everybody. Let me see. Wow, you guys are hanging around longer than usual. Three minutes and 30 seconds for the average user. <laughs> it's fun to watch these. I love watching numbers. Concurrent viewers, 166. I don't know what the chat rate is, 24. Chat rate, most recent, I don't know what that. Views, okay. Eh. I don't know. I'm a numbers guy. I love that stuff. I could look at analytics all day. Especially the stock market. Ugh, oh, I'm addicted. I mean, put a company in front of me, and I will look at every spec, every every detail, every number that's available. Yeah, you know, and I, and, uh, and guess what? I was holding a little bit of Amazon stock, and guess what? They just announced a twenty for one split. What dumb luck is that? So I'm going to keep it for the split. Philippines. White haze over the image. What white haze are you talking about? Do you see a white haze? Do you guys see a line going through here? Am I hitting a power line here too? I could swear that looks like something. I don't know. And if you're wondering, these are two galaxies about 13 million light years away. And I can even see them in my guide camera. There's one and there's the other. Which is good to see. Because if you think about, if you look at this, the, the galaxies are pretty much centered, one on either side. And my guide scope has one on either side. The, my, so my guide, ca my guide camera and my imaging camera, whenever I, my dither is really messing, are pretty lined up, but my, the dithering is really crazy. I, I gotta fix my numbers here. I know I'm doing something wrong. What galaxies are they? Right. As these are the galaxies when they're fully processed. This is what I did a year or two ago. But I think I can process them better. You're always improving from one year to the next. And now they're going to be more in the center. It looks like I must have cropped a lot of it too. Oops. Thanks for joining as members, guys. I really appreciate that. I think I picked up three new members today. And the thing is, I picked up three members because I'm not one to really push it, so I never really broadcast. Hey, guys, join my, join my page. But, you know, I'd probably have more members if I just advertised a little bit. But I just like the people to sort of find me on their own. I have captured the fossil footprint. You want to see that one? I think I have it in. I know I'm, I'm stuffed up again. I can't believe this. But I do have it. Uh, where is the fossil footprint? I know I've done it before. These are all the things I've ever captured. Where are you? Fossil footprint. That looks like it. It has a really bright core. This is in the Hubble palette. That's the fossil footprint. And to this day, I still don't know why they call it a fossil footprint. Does that look like a footprint? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I'm happy you caught me live, too. Does anybody know why they call it the fossil footprint? Because I don't see a fossil footprint. Unless these are toes up here. 
or that like toe, 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 and that's the heel of a foot. I don't know what they're talking about. Paw print, is that, am I seeing it right? A paw print? Hmm. Paw print. I guess. I probably could have come up with a better nickname than, than that. Keep Blue Moon in Kentucky. Blue Moon, I saw you standing alone. I don't see it either. Yeah, I'm usually good at being able to figure out why they call things like they do, but not this one. Turn it upside down. Uh, I stand on my head. <laughs> All right, so here's our two galaxies making progress. Focus looks pretty good. Focus, these are the stars, and they look absolutely pinpoint. I'm loving that. Let's go to my other. Oh, oh, look at I finally passed through that power line. Do you see that? Here, let's, let's, let's do a quick comparison there. You see when I was going through the power line? Check this out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's what the stars look like when I'm going through a power line. And it looks like I finally got past it. You see how they're much more round now and no diffraction spike? And look what the power line did to me. You can see how they're elongated in the direction of the power line. That's my fault because I put my telescope right under the power line. So I just had to wait to pass it. Much better. Nice and round for a four, for a four minute exposure. Cool channel, I appreciate that. So I have a lot of time to keep capturing data before this scope points too low in the west. And that's, I think that's serious, the star right there. 173 watching, awesome. You guys are hanging out, I love it. And that's my horse head. <gasps> Why does it say sequence complete? That's the second time it did this tonight. You know, I think I'm having issues with the guiding. The sequence aborted. Rats. Yeah. All right. It needs some babysitting. So let's uh, unpark. I, I, all right, let's uh, let's just plate solve on it. Hang on a second. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Center. And you can see my mount went back to its home position. Why? That's a, I think I'm losing my guide star. You can see it moving, finding the galaxies again. Thank you, I'm glad you love my streams. It's driving me crazy though, why I, I aborted again. I'm going to have to get some expert help who understands PhD too. I bet it, I'm sure it's related to the guiding. I'm losing my guide star. So right now it's still trying to center the, my target. You I know, mean, a lot of days I go all night with no issues, but this is already aborted twice. Uh, 
All right, let's, let's restart the guarding, the guiding. Maybe I need to refocus. Let's guide on that one. All right, imaging. I don't consider myself an expert. I never did. <laughs> Dropped viewers. How many telescopes do I own? Uh, I have the Explorer Scientific 127, Explorer Scientific 102, uh, the AR-152. I have an Orion ED-80T, that's four. I have a Celestron Rasa, that's five. I have this new Red Cat telescope I just bought, that would be six. I have a Newtonian telescope in the basement, that would make seven. I have a Nexstar 8SC, that would be eight. Wow! I didn't know I had so many. That's embarrassing. Jeez, eight. At least, there's probably more I didn't even think of. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely way overkill. But like I said, I'm an impulse buyer. As you can tell, I'm the guy who buys a beard trimmer even though he doesn't have a, a beard. Are you going to buy more telescopes in the future? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait either. Don't be modest. <laughs> I appreciate that. 100. Much appreciated. You see now... Normally, if I wasn't streaming, I would probably, I don't sit in front of my desk and watch the imaging. I would probably be watching Netflix or doing something else or exercising on my stationary bike, playing video games. But, and I wouldn't have noticed that this, that this setup aborted. So you guys did me a favor. I'm streaming and I'm watching and I see this setup aborted earlier. I was able to restart it. I have one friend, he sends himself an, an email alert or a text if something aborts. I should probably set myself up to do that. That would definitely help. What photo am I most proud of? That's a good question. And I don't really have one, but what happens with me is that uh, is the usually the last project I've worked on is my new favorite because, so this is probably my all time favorite image because it seems more fresh. It's brand new, I just processed it. And my other pictures, they sort of get stale to me after a while and I never really go back to look at them. So this is definitely my, my new favorite. <laughs> Cause it's on, the, it's on the fresh rack, everything else is on the day old rack. Am I a little out of focus? That doesn't look as sharp as it could be. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I should run a focus routine. I don't want to make it worse, though. Yeah, 
all my data is like that at the at the at this point. Stupid bots everywhere. Astro, Astro Corone, have you found someone? Have you found something to, that you have to delete? Thank you, Astro Corone. I hope he's. I hope Astro is doing his job. <laughs> Astro Corone is the new. He's got the wrench. He's he's the new moderator in town. He helps me when I can't see all the messages, and he works for cheap. Awesome. Thank you, Caleb. Appreciate that. Astro Corone's going to send me a bill later. And I'm going to rip it up. <laughs> that wasn't part of the deal. He, he's helping me out of the goodness of his heart. I think, thank you. I think a lot of people, well, have found me through shorts. Did you guys see my latest one where the planets are lined up? If you oh. haven't seen that, let me show you. Planets are amazing, in, in an amazing order that I don't know when it's ever going to be like this again. Decades into the future, maybe maybe centuries. Watch this. Let's go. Here's what it looked like this, this morning. Check that out. You have the Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, Saturn, Venus, and Mars all lined up. Isn't that crazy? And there's more. Check this out. If I zoom in on the Sun, I think Neptune. Even Neptune is in, the, in here. You see that? Below isn't that crazy? I didn't mention that one in my shorts. I didn't know that until afterwards. <laughs> yeah, if that were visible, that would have been awesome. But actually, none of them are visible in the morning. They're too close to the sun, except Venus. You might have a chance at Venus in the early morning hours. My early days in astrophotography, oh, nothing to brag about. Excuse me. Oh, I burped. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing. It was, uh, And I started in the middle of winter. And then we had new neighbors, and they're like, why it's... I mean, they're probably wondering, what is this guy doing out there? <laughs> but I got better. And this hobby is all about... Now people can just hit the ground running because there's lots of, you know, instructional videos on YouTube on how to do everything. So, but back then, there was very little information. So you had to sort of find your own way through. You need to, you need a bath. Okay, thanks, Enzo. Get yourself a bath. You need to bathe. Okay. Let's see the weather again. See, it's breaking up before it gets here, but except this, this looks like something is forming out of nothing. That kind of scares me. Let me see what the, what's the my weather forecast say. It says I'm not going to have three clouds for another five hours. Huh. Interesting.
what is what? Uh oh, Astro Corona, are you on the ball? I see something bad. <laughs> Go get him, Astro. Get him, Caleb. <laughs> My most powerful telescope is probably the one I'm using right now. No, that's it. My my po most powerful telescope is the the eight inch um, Nexstar 8SC. It has the most focal length, but sitting in the garage right now. But I only use it for planets. Short uh, streams in the future. Yeah, yeah. I have done solar streams right now. I can't, uh, and I'm all set up with my Daystar Solar Scout. I have an electronic focus where I've been waiting, wanting to show you guys a live stream, but I can't get any clear skies during the daytime hours. James Dugan. I always like that last name, Dugan. I actually used to use that as an alias. I think I used to call myself Matt Dugan. I don't remember. It might be not that. But when I used to run an internet business and you wanted to promote your sites, you would go into forums, but you don't want to use your real name because kind of want to say, hey, I found some cool sites. Let's check these out. But it's not as authentic if people know you're the guy who owns the sites. <laughs> hey, but it put me into early retirement. The early days of the internet. The wild, wild west. I knew all the tricks. Some of them I can't talk about. <laughs> Google might get mad at me. The Celestron Nexstar 8SC. I don't know what I don't know what the prices are these days. Let's let's just check it out. Every all the prices have gone up because telescopes are hard to find. Let's just see. I bet you any money this is going to be sold out. Next star 8SC. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Oh, right here. In stock. Holy moly. In stock. But it's about 300 bucks more than what I paid for it. Jump on it, folks. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know about the mount that comes with it. I wouldn't use that for deep sky, but it's great for planets. Now, this is the one I just bought, the Red Cat 51. Oops, did I spell that wrong? And that's what I paid. Uh, contact us for availability. That means it's out of stock. Yep, here it is. Woohoo! Oh, look at this. Restart to install Windows 11. I did not ask for anyone to install Windows 11. And it's just going to do that now? Screw you. I don't like these automatic updates. Who knows what it's going to break. One time I did a Microsoft update and it destroyed my ASCOM drivers. I had to reinstall ASCOM. And it took me a while to figure out why isn't my setup working and then I realized ASCOM is not is broken. And it was because of a Microsoft update. Yeah, it used to be a lot cheaper, but everything is more expensive these days. Oh, you're waiting three and a half months for your astrophotography camera? Wow. 
I have five places that I check. OPT, High Point, uh, I think it's called Agena, Telescopes.net, probably somewhere else, another one in there. Somebody is usually going to have it. If you if you know all the places to look. Until you get somebody like me who tells everybody about telescopes.net and now they're sold out of the, the red cat. Oh, okay, wow. You're gonna go play basketball. Good for you, Orlando. Get some exercise. Oh, man, that's, that's great. Did I tell you guys I went for a checkup? I got a clean bill of health with, with the blood work. But now I have to go for a colonoscopy. I'm at that age where you got to do that, and <coughs> I'm dreading it. I am dreading it. I don't like that. I feel violated. <laughs> Exit only, you know? I don't like a... Ugh. I don't even want to think about it. I have not used it because I'm still buying parts for it. It's not ready yet. Yeah, no fun. My brother keeps telling me, you got to do it, man. They find, they find issues with that. And if you can catch it early, although, you know, believe it or not, cancer doesn't run in our family. Believe it or not. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> but still, you don't want to take chances. Oh, I just did a focus. Oh, Xena Star 61. Cool. For this scope, I am using the Optolong L Pro. No, no, yeah, I'm using an Optolong L Pro for the Rasa setup because I'm capturing it in broadband. And I'm using an astronomic HA filter on this setup for the Spider Nebula in narrowband. Very good. Astro Corona has banned three of them. Thank you very much. Everybody, Astro Corona, he's got the wrench next to his name. He's he's helping me. My, he's my moderator. So be nice to him or he'll zap you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's cool headed. I made a video on that, that I can't take a picture of Pluto. Maybe I could take a picture of Pluto. I just haven't tried yet. But I, I made a short video on that. I've got millions of views telling people I can't do it. But I'm pretty sure I could. It would look like a tiny, tiny dot if I did capture it. Smaller than, smaller, as small as a star. Mostly, mostly bots right now. Okay. If you just abort it again, why did it abort again? It keeps aborting. Now watch, my mount is going to go to the, it's going to park itself. Watch this. Why? I think it's going to park itself automatically. No? Did I turn did I turn off automatic park? Oh, there it goes. And there's a plane right there. See that the mount is parking. I I must be having guiding issues or something. It keeps aborting. I'll restart it again. It finished. It's having a hard time correcting after a dither. Why? Why, why, why is it having a hard time correcting after a dither? Oh, 
open park. Let's let's go back and let's go after this object again. Now, since I'm sitting in front of the computer, I don't totally mind. I'm I'm catching it early, but still. Okay, now it's moving back to the target. It really wants you to do a Windows 11. Yeah, right. Guide Stark failed to settle. Yeah, why is it failing to settle? Settle. In the corner? Huh. Okay, well. Let's let's uh let's pick a star. Yeah, it's failing to settle after that those dithers. Done. Refresh. And resume. Hmm. It's acting very, very bad today. If, if you're new to the stream, uh, that PhD2, this is what keeps me on target. This is it, my, the, 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 the little scope on top is the guide scope and it locks onto a star and here's my galaxies and the, the guide scope locks onto a star near my galaxies and it keeps my whole setup on target so my mount doesn't drift away. It's always cloudy, yeah. Sorry about that. You just got done using your new telescope? What new telescope did you get? Thank you, Astro Crone. I really help you uh, I, I really appreciate the help you're giving me tonight with the moderation. That's just something I can't do because uh, I'm watching my setup and I can't keep up with all the comments. Although Astro Corone, when you were doing a live stream, I was going to make a contribution to your live stream, but you don't have the super chat money. So I couldn't do it. I was going to give you a $50 donation because you've contributed to me a lot in the past. So I was going to give you something big, but maybe one day if you have that super chat turned on, I, I can return the favor. See, now that did there look minimal. It didn't go crazy. Oh, thank you. The future of Earth. <laughs> no problem. The future of Earth is a short video I made. Uh, I think it went almost a minute long. And it had over 12 million views. Can you believe that? I made a video with 12 million views. Crazy. And that is my most stolen video on YouTube. People steal it almost daily, but YouTube has excellent copyright protection and they notify you as soon as somebody grabs your, your stuff. Yep. Yeah, you can see my mean readout is creeping higher. For this scope, because I'm getting a little too close to the west. The, the more west I point, there's a lot of light pollution over on the west here, because my neighbor that lives behind me has a very bright light. But I'll keep going. For now. Whew. 
ISSS is falling. Is that because of the war? Is it going to come down on us? Thank you. Light pollution. It's a killer. Yeah, it's a killer. How long has this stream been going for? You guys want to still hang out? Because uh, I can hang out for a while. I'm not doing nothing else and everybody else has gone to sleep in this house. So it's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about somebody barging in. know what I should do because this object is going away because uh this this object is going away for the evening you know what I should do I should point oh this is good I should point this telescope at this galaxy here and pick up HA on it because there's a huge starburst um, going on in the middle of this galaxy and if I capture HA then I could incorporate it into this picture that's an idea that's an idea I'll think about that hmm. I may as well just do it now just for the heck of it I don't know if I'll really be able to use that data but let's do that because this uh I mean, well, you know what, I'm going to stay on this target for a little while longer, then I'm going to switch to that galaxy. Puerto Rico, hello, Puerto Rico. Astro Corone, do you see the naked HD? Uh, trust that you that you zap this person. Oh, your you're, you're, <laughs> message deleted. You're way ahead of me, Astro Caron. Thanks. I need water. I'll be right back, guys. Get a little bit darker. Are you subscribed to Astro Backyard? I am. I am subscribed to every astrophotographer on YouTube because I like to see what everybody else is doing. I got to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> I watch the NBA, but more so if the Pistons have a good team, the Detroit Pistons, and they don't. Why do I only have two scopes out? Because uh, I'm too old to do more. <laughs> it takes a while for me to actually set stuff up. 
I don't have the energy like I used to. Is there a bright star right there? That looks like a bright star. What is that? Rigel? Did I say that? Might be Rigel. I bet that's Rigel. Oh no, wait a minute. That's Sirius. We just looked at that. What am I talking about? Sir or however you say it, that's Sirius. And the moon is straight up out of the picture. I'm not very good at doing planets, but I do have a picture of Venus. You want to see my picture of Venus? When, well, when did I capture Venus? Did I do it last year? Let's see. I might have captured it the year before. I don't have it on this computer. Well, maybe I do. Here's, here's what I did for Venus. Nothing to write home about. I captured it in mono and added the color afterwards, but you can see a crescent Venus. I'll take it. <laughs> Here's a picture I captured of the sun. No problem, Caleb. Take your time. You've already done good work here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Can you see Uranus? That's the thing about the planet Uranus. It's, it's, you never know. It's easy to, to get fooled. Is, are, are they joking about it or is it, is it a real comment? So if somebody wants to see uh, <laughs> Uranus, Uranus, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a joke. Although I did take a picture of Uranus. You see, the, the mean readout actually went down. That must have been haze that was causing the value to go up, a little bit of extra haze. So I'm glad I stayed on target with the spider nebula. And this is what's heading towards me, the, these clouds. I'm right here. Here's where Detroit is. I think I got a few hours before they hit. Yeah, when is the Red Cat? I have a lot to do to to get this thing going. I have a guide scope on the way. I just bought this guide scope. No, I have, I just bought this, I have, a, I just bought this guide scope. I have a guide camera on the way. I still have to get a do heater and I have to get an electronic focuser. I got a lot to do. I know exactly, I just don't, the only thing I'm undecided on is what kind of mount I want to put it on. That's the only thing I'm not sure of. <laughs> Planets are hard. Planets are hard because uh, it's they're. <laughs> They, they do come out blurry for me, and they're so tiny compared to the other objects we capture. I captured Mars somewhere around here. I don't seem to have it handy. But I did capture it. I don't know why I don't have it there. 2020? No? Uh, Mars? There's one picture of Mars I captured. What do you think of that? That's not too bad. I could probably have sharpened it up a bit. You can see a polar ice cap right there. 
Hey, Caleb is back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm scratching legs. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm always scratching. See, my hearing is bad, so I don't pick up all the little sounds that you guys pick up. I have a picture of the Crab Nebula somewhere. Wait, did you say reduce the noise level on the microphone? Where was that tip again? Somebody said I could re reduce some noise level on the microphone. Audio. Hello, hello, hello. The, the scratching my legs. Let's see. Wait, I want to be quiet. Let's see. Scratching my legs. How it shows up here. You guys have really good hearing to hear that. It can't be that loud, huh? <laughs> I'll try not to scratch, but I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> noise gate oh a noise gate is I'm going to pick up my mic so you're going to hear something is this a noise gate if that's a noise gate I already got one is that a noise gate okay, I'm going to put the mic down I don't want to drive you guys crazy We're going through another crazy. Oh, that's a pop. See, I don't know all this stuff. Okay. What's a noise gate? Uh, but I'll look it up later. See, we're going through a crazy. Another crazy dither. This is what keeps sending me to. Uh, keeps aborting my session. It's good enough. Okay. I just hate it when people are annoyed. If there's something I can do to make it better, it just bothers me. I'm not coming out of my dither. I'm sure I got to turn up the aggression on but I don't know enough about these settings and how I can fix that. I'm sure I'm going to abort. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to pause before it aborts. Okay, just pause it. And maybe it will recover. I'm going to go back and read the comments about the the, the microphone because I, I don't like to be annoying to people. After the stream, I'll try and do what I can. Oh, you got to leave the stream. Okay, Katie, thanks for joining. I appreciate that. I'm not annoying? Okay. Well, if there's little things that annoy people, like my squeaky chair at the beginning, and so I went and got a, a kitchen chair. Okay. The dither recovered, so I can just resume. But I don't know why it's doing that today. I don't, I don't normally have this issue. I don't have a cat. 
Although there's a stray cat that wanders around my backyard a lot. Oh, you have an exam. Okay. Good luck, man. Good luck with your exam. I remember my college days. I don't know if you're in college or uh, in grade school or high school, but good luck. Uh-oh. I I I got I might have a family issue going on right now. Hang on one second. I have surveillance on my dad. <laughs> I'm looking at surveillance right now because um I think it's someone else is helping him out. You know, if, if my dad tries to get out of bed, he's going to be 90 this year and he just does not know. He he's terrible at walking and he falls down a lot. So we have surveillance on him to make sure we catch him before he tries to walk. He, he just, no matter how many times he falls, he's just not going to figure out that his balance is not there anymore. And, and you know, he can't be reasoned with either. It's just difficult sometimes. Okay, he's back in bed. I have good vibes, thanks. Family comes first, and that's why I have them. Um, uh, yeah. See, if you look at my surveillance, I have two, oh, you can't see here, but I do have two cameras. This is pointing on my telescopes, and the other surveillance is on my bed. <laughs> I'm watching my dad on my Alexa to the right. How long have we been streaming for? Do you guys want to still hang out? Because I don't mind sticking around if you guys are, are having fun. I don't mind. Or, or if you guys are bored enough to hang out with me. <laughs> That's cool. Your game? Cool. Oh, it's only been an hour since I started? Wow. That's good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still got 151 people watching. And that's what the weather looks like. It's keeping its distance. The, they are breaking up before they reach me in Detroit. You can see that here, right here is Detroit. And the clouds are definitely breaking. <laughs> I don't want you to get a bad grade because of me though. No, I didn't get the CME. I wish. I heard about it. But we had clouds during that time. When is the next lunar eclipse? A couple months from now in May? Let's see. I think it's going to be an early one, right? Okay. Well, let's see. The moon, the moon, not there. there. Here's the sun and here's the moon. I think it's going to be in May. Oh, 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 I think there it is. Watch this. I'm in Stellarium right now. Wait. There it is. Uh, is that it? Wait. Wait, 
moon. No, I don't think so. When is the third? Does anybody know what day the May 19th? Oh, okay. So we still got to go. Let's just go to May 19th. May 19th? Okay. Is it It's in the morning hours? Does anybody know the time? <laughs> Wait, let's see. Where's the moon? Are you sure it's May 19th? May 19th? Lunar eclipse? Oh, May 15th? Oh, I got... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I looked at it wrong. Okay. My mistake. May 15th. I need glasses. Moon? On May 15th. The heck did I just do? Let me exit Stellarium and get out of here real quick. Get back in. Uh, let's just see. May 15th. Every time there's a lunar eclipse, I have bad weather. And I, and I remember thinking this one is going to be way too low. Okay. Where's... May 15th. All right. There's the moon. Moon. Where's the... What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Why does not the, the moon... Am I... Does anyone know what time of day... What time of day? Uh, wait, oh, let's see. Visible from North America. Anybody know what time of day? I know I need to know the exact. Eleven thirty Eastern. Is that AM or PM? Eleven thirty AM or PM? It must be p.m. It's at night, right? Oops. Oh, jeez. It's so low. Eleven thirty PM. Normally this will show you the shadow. But it, it's not showing me the shadow. Or is that just the start of it? Oh there it is, there it is. Okay. Oops. I was looking at I had the wrong time. Eleven thirty. There it is. You can see how it got darker. I love still there. I mean, it really does show you. I was looking, I was looking at the wrong time. 11.30. Right there. Check that out. Yep. So, May 15, 11.30, Stellarium is showing a blood red moon. So that's, that's, I don't know. You know, it's getting late. My brain is not working. It took me way too long to figure that out. <laughs> but there it is. Let's see how high that is in the sky. See, I, that's this is what I remember. It's only going to be about 20 degrees high in the worst possible location. I'm going to, if I want to capture this, I got to move my setup all the way to the other side of the yard to be able to see this because I think I have trees at this part in this area. Ugh. Why? Why is it always difficult? Two 
2 a.m. So it, look, it starts, well, from at 1.30, you can see it's going away. So from 11.30 to 1.30, what time will that be? It will be, okay, I'll be able to see this easily at that point. I'm going to do my best to capture this. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it will be cloudy that day. No question. And I won't be able to see a thing. It always happens. All right, I'm going to go to that, I'm going to go to the Galaxy M81 and capture some narrowband on it. Wait, uh... Let's pause this. Well, this is starting to get too low. So now I'm going to use my big scope. 1M82. If I capture HA on the Cigar Galaxy, maybe I can merge it into this and it will make this picture even better. But it's something to think about. Okay. H A M eighty two. Okay. I think I'm done with the spider. I'm going to try and process that this week. I don't need to capture any more data on it. One three nine two one. H-A, H-A, four minutes, nine, 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 no, uh, one, oh, five, resume. All right, this scope, uh, uh oh, uh oh, it's gonna crash into the mount. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. You see that? Okay. Sometimes my mount, it, it goes before the object has actually flipped the meridian. Let's see. Waiting for equipment. Uh, all right. Find it, please find it. You know what? It's, hmm. No match found. I, I think I bumped into my equipment. Some of the cables did. Let, let's see where it actually, my mount starts before it does a meridian flip. It shouldn't have, it shouldn't have tried to find it already on that side of the meridian. Let's see, where is M81? It's very close. It should have found it. Uh, yeah. I think I might have. It's hard to tell, but I bet I'm banging into the mount. I probably won't be able to capture it for another hour. Another lunar eclipse in November. Let's see if it can find it now. If it can't find it, that means it's uh, uh, it, it banged into the, my, my tripod legs. Because this should be an easy target to find.
Yeah. Let's see if I can go back to the other target. My mount has issues when the object is too close to the meridian. Let's at least see if I can go back to the spider. If, if it can't find the spider, then it banging into my mount has knocked me off course. And it won't find anything. I'll probably just park it. But if it can find the spider nebula again, then at least I know the mount is still lined up. And I'll retry the M82 in a half an hour. Please find spider. Because sometimes if it hits the tripod legs too hard, I'm screwed. It, it becomes misaligned. We'll see. <laughs> Please find it. You can see it searching. That's no object found. God dang it. I'll probably just park it if it can't find it. Uh, yeah, normally I would check. Is it too close to the meridian? Yeah. It's going to do a blind failover. This one is going pretty good now. My dad is up again. All right, I better go check on him. You can probably hear a thump. If you just heard a thump, that's him throwing away the rail guard on the bed. He hates it, and he takes it, and he throws it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be right back. Hang on one second. I see somebody else helping him. Oh, 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 they got him to go back to bed. He's a handful. That's why I don't sleep at night. <laughs> I sleep a lot during the day to make up for it. Okay, I'll be right back, though. Trying to reason with somebody who at this point can't be reasoned with. <laughs> Let's see. Solve failed, invoking blind failover. That's what happens when you crash into your mount. It's my fault for not paying attention to where the galaxy was. Is Naked H Y Naked H D causing issues? Is he back again? Maybe. Do 
Astro Crit, are you able to ban him permanently? Maybe I can. Huh. Let me see if I can ban him permanently next time. Oh, it's it's solved. Okay, good. But now, uh, so my mount is back in position, but I, I'm not going to try and go after M82 for probably a half hour. It has to be closer to the meridian before I go after it. When it's about when it's that far from the meridian, that, that there's a little. M82, you see, right there. It's a little too far. It's got to get closer. Right around there, my mount gets confused, right? and it the, the scope crashes into the the mount. So I'll probably wait a half hour for it to get. If it gets to about right there, let's see how long I have to wait. How many more minutes? It's starting at seven. Uh, probably a half an hour. So how many of you guys have to work in the morning? As you, most of you know, I'm retired by now, so uh, that's why I can do this all the time. I retired back in my 40s. Oh, thank you. You're retired as well. Good for you. Excellent. Oh, you're 12. Okay. Your whole life is in front of you. Wow, we got a lot of people retired. That's cool. You guys don't have to work in the morning. <laughs> oh, and you're 15. Wow, we got a lot of young, young crowd. Morning for you. Wow. There goes that crazy dither again. Good day. Hello. Thank you. Oh, your school is closed? Oh, yeah. You want to do the moon while we wait for that? That's, oh, that's a good idea. Let's, let's capture the moon while we're waiting for the galaxy to be in a good... Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, sky live moon coordinates. What is this? Can I trust Google with the moon coordinates? Let's just compare that to a uh, Let's see what Stellarium says. Where's the moon? I'd rather go to the website. Oh, here it is. Okay. 
Yeah, that matches Stellarium. R A. Wait, M one. Okay. So let's plug in the moon coordinates. O H O eight twenty five fifty one. Oops. O eight twenty five fifty one. 23, 17, 23, 23, 17, right? 53, fetch. The moon's going to be right about there. <laughs> Moon. All right, let's. We're gonna go to the moon. Let's see the moon, everybody. The moon's not in the middle of the meridian, is it? Let's just double check that. No. Center. I probably do things the hard way if you. If, if, but that's that's just the way I do things. Okay, the scope is pointing at the moon. Settling in. I don't see any moon. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there it is. Abort. Abort. We're right there. Okay, okay. That's that's uh Go into sharp cap. It's better for viewing viewing the moon. Sharp cap. Uh, remind me later. Ignore error. All right, there it is. And let me do something here. Let's uh, telescope. All right. Stay right there. Turn up the exposure. Gain. What's gain auto? No, let's just go stop. Let's go to 139. Put that light gain 139. Oh, there it is. Very nice. Very nice. A oh, little bit. Uh... What do you think of that? There's the moon. Woo, 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 woo. Look at all those craters. Cool. Yeah. I want to capture this. But I need to turn down the exposure a bit. So I, I don't want to be overexposed. A little bit more. Right there. Okay, I'm going to capture this. Hey, give me a second here. Start capture. I'll capture. Uh, let's just capture 3,000 frames. And after that, we'll see if we can go back to that galaxy. And here's the frame count. 
I'll capture 3,000 frames, since the moon never really changes. All right, my, my dad is up again. I have to go check on him, and I'll be right back. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh-oh, we've dropped down to 105 watching. I, I think people are starting to get a little tired. <laughs> a little tired of me. It's a long time to hang out for a live stream, I know. And I am starting to get sleepy. So I think I am going to, oh, well, you know what? More people are, are, are engaged again. I'll stick. If, I thought people were leaving right now because it was down to 105, but people are still, uh, you're still here? If you guys want me to stick around, I'll stick around. I just fear that you're getting, starting to get bored now. I don't want to keep. Uh... Okay, cool. I usually don't go to bed for a while. Is my dad is gonna be is gonna be one of, he wants to be entertained right now. <laughs> I am capturing the moon after this video is done capturing. I want to try and go back to that galaxy. Am I blurry? I I can see myself on the iPad. I I have an iPad right in front of me so I can see what you guys are seeing and it looks pretty good on my iPad. Let's see. Oh, look at that. The comments show up right in front of me. I didn't know they do that. Okay, good. It's almost done capturing the moon. I look fine, good. Chuck's awesome. Hey, I appreciate that. Almost done. Then we want to go back to that galaxy. Here is, oh, okay, finished. Here is the moon up close. Look at those craters. Isn't that freaking awesome? Astro Corone, thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. You 
got my chat revenue up to twenty nine forty two. You are you are awesome, man. I appreciate all the help with the monitoring. Okay, let's go back to the galaxy. We're done with the moon. Goodbye, Mr. Moon. Now, please don't bang into the tripod leg. That looks like a safe distance away. But you can see my cables moving. So I think I'm definitely close to the tripod leg. Let's see if it can find it this time. match found the my uh, my have a very stupid mount it doesn't know that the what side of the meridian the galaxy is on right now because it's when it's too close to the meridian the mount gets confused the what side am I on and it screws up brain dead <laughs> Playback resolution? How's that? Where is that? Oh, are you talking to somebody else? Oh, okay. Justice needs to... The playback resolution? Thanks for letting them know. Right, it's looking for west, but it's facing north. That's the problem. It's it's looking for a west when it's still on the east. But why does my mount do that? When it gets too close, it tries to go to the other side of the meridian to start off with. Why does it do that? Does anybody know? I've always had this problem with the CGX. Right, gotcha. There, I'm sure there's a setting there somewhere when I'm close to the meridian, don't go to the other side of the meridian yet. But I don't know what that is. It's not going to find it. The, the mount has to get closer. The the galaxy has to get closer to the meridian first. The my my tri my tripod legs are still interfering with it. But oh, well, I'm complaining. Just abort that. We don't need to worry about that yet. We'll just let it sit for a while. At least I got the moon out of it. You know what, guys? I'm starting to actually get sleepy. I think uh, I think I need to catch 40 winks and then go entertain my dad. <laughs> He's getting restless. I want to thank everybody for joining, and thanks for the people who joined as new members. I appreciate that. Bye, everybody. It's been fun. I think I've got enough data to finish two more objects. So, goodbye, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you.